So now I could go in and under my mesh sizing, make some changes to my model. For an example, I'm also going to go in and change the way this hole is split here. So if I turn off my mesh, you can see I want to modify the split around this hole and that hole. So again, geometry editing. I'm going to do point to edge. And the same down here. Turn on my mesh. You can see how it's updated the mesh there. I'm going to go back to my mesh sizing. And again, so I like to sometimes turn the mesh on and off to do this. So I'm going to set my number of elements around these holes to be, let's make these six nodes. I'm going to say set two. And I'm just going to grab my hole there, the edges of my holes and the edges of the pad. Take my mesh. You can see I got a little better mesh size. Same thing here. I need to go do a update here, here, here. And one other thing I want to do is I want to change the mesh size along these two curves. So I'm going to go set this to eight. And again, use my select. Now, in this case here, you can see I've got a little bit of a difference in the mesh saw or the mesh between this edge and this edge. So I'm going to go back again, set these to three. So now I've got match and mesh. I'm going to say increase. Just increase by one on that edge as well. 